Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, et good morning, good morning, good morning, uh, for those of you who are new to us, uh, we are the TSTWSYS0083 uh, traders. I have a question for traders before I start uh, this video, okay, when do we have uh, 15 waves, when do we have 15 waves? Okay, that's a good question. Okay, trader may think of it because there was a, a stupid comment on one of our video uh, regarding the uh, alien wave being rubbish. I say to that trader, okay, to, 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 to calm down, okay, and to relax, okay, to forget about the ego and uh, start learning about A, B, C, D, okay, corrective wave. These are five waves, but they are corrective wave. Each wave is divided into three waves because each corrective wave is three waves. When we count one to three, it's a corrective wave. But this one A, B, C, D, E is a five wave, but in fact, it's a corrective wave. It's very important that we talk about this so traders, uh, okay, can know what we were talking about. Uh, this is about, uh, in fact, um, uh, was the pound, a dollar currency pair, if. Uh, uh, hold on a second. All right. So this is about alien wave discussion. So what I always say to traders is that uh, when we are counting waves, okay, when I count my wave, I always stick to my wave and I will say, this is my wave count. Another trader may say, George, is completely nonsense. As this trader post uh, a comment on our, okay, a video that we title uh, a fractal a trading strategy, okay, saying that, uh, okay, it was an alien wave, uh, a nonsense. I believe probably this trader is a new trader, he's learning, but if you are a new trader, you are learning, you need to be more humble, okay? I have never posted, okay, this type of uh, comment on any video on YouTube before. I've seen all sort of uh, video on YouTube, but I never ever put a nonsense comment on any video on YouTube, okay? So I do not expect uh, some traders, okay, to put <laughs> nonsense comment on my video. It's my video, okay? But it, everything belongs to YouTube, though, all right? So let's let's see what has, has happened, okay? So we can all learn something from it, okay? Uh, the pound dollar, the currency pair, and uh, I posted this video today about the fractal trading strategy. The video was not about Elliot Wave, as uh, the gentleman who posted the video, okay, was out of subject completely because it was about a fractal pattern, not Elliot Wave, all right? All right, so what I was telling traders, uh, my drawing are still here, and I was telling them about the fractal pattern, is a pattern, very simple, that will repeat itself. For instance, when we see a double top, okay, on the yearly chart, and we see again double top on the monthly chart, that's a fractal double top, all right? We can see a double top on the yearly chart, double top on the quarterly chart, double top, okay, on the weekly chart, it's a fractal pattern. From the higher time frame, because the, the higher time frame a pattern is not changing quickly, but it can repeat itself on various time frame. It's about a fractal pattern. So we were posting a video about the fractal pattern today, and the gentleman said, alien wave, blah, blah, blah. But the point that the gentleman was saying is this, this is one thing the gentleman did not understand, because we say one, two, three, four, five. Now this gentleman thought that when we say five, is always impulsive way. I say to this uh, trader, okay, I don't want to mention his name, I'll say to this trader that, he should go and learn a www.24 area wave about a A, B, C, D, E corrective wave. These are 15 waves, which means each wave has been divided into three waves. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's a consolidation. When we're talking about a consolidation or a balance market, it's a correction. All right? That's what you have to understand. When we're talking about impulsive move, we are talking about a trending period. Okay? All right? So calm down that's what i say to the, this trader calm down relax okay don't get too excited if you don't know too much about in your way take time okay then gradually this gentleman is from indian and he posts this comment on one of our video 
and personally i do not like it and i need to mention it here all right so let's move on this is there we have a better things to talk about here there was another trader excellent trader a tstw24 trader send me a nice email this uh, trader i want to understand the wave principle as always i do not impose my trading style on traders I'll, in fact i will fight for traders to keep their own trading style what i talk about is always about a parallel coaching you see the line here parallel coaching i do not stand on the way of the trader i'll stand on the side okay if the trader asks a question i'll point the trader in the right direction but the trader will always make the direction this is about a parallel coaching okay this video is about uh, okay Elliott wave traders because a trader who is an uh, Elliott wave trader one asks a question in fact send us an email okay and while in a draw okay her own lines on the chart okay she did her own wave count and this is the traders that we care about okay traders that want to develop their own trading style okay make excellent trading decision all right so you need let's get started okay what i will do I will go first, enough of my problem. All right, let's go first to the yearly chart. Okay, always that's what I'll do because I can see the yearly chart. I'm happy to see TC2000, excellent job. I see the yearly chart. I'm happy to see the yearly chart, okay? So now what I will do, I'll bring my drawing if I want to talk about area wave, okay? So, because there is a lot of uh, discussion, sometimes traders will spend hours disagreeing about the wave count. I don't get into that kind of discussion. In fact, I ran away from it, all right? So, so looking at this yearly chart, okay, I, I have my guidelines, okay, that I follow, which uh, we know, we talk about at www.24aliotwave.com, okay? So here we can see that the price was consolidating, don't worry, I'm going to color them because, uh, okay, one second. All right, so, we have a, a consolidation taking place, okay, in this session, and then we have a breakout here on the yearly chart. I don't want to cheat. I'm just going to go, okay, step by step, okay? All right, so I see this, I will count this as the first one. You will see if I made a mistake, you will see later on, because that's how you do it. You just go step by step, and if you made a mistake, you will see later that you have made a mistake, because there are some guidelines that we will follow. So I will count this as a second one. All right, and... Um, And then I will count this as the third wave. In fact, the, the candle went up to this level before coming down. And uh, you can see here, uh, in fact, the what we will call the fourth wave went all the way down here. You see? It went down all the way here. It will start uh, ringing the bell to us. Watch out why it cancel it. Okay? This is the fourth wave going down to this level. But the candle fast support and closes here. Sometimes they will put it here instead of here. Alright? Let's try to to cheat a bit, so to speak. Let's try not to put too much attention to the fact that the prime went down to this level because in that case, it has counseled, okay, the third way. In fact, that was the case, it has counseled it. And I will show you later on. But now, I'm just going to put it like this, like a new trader counting the wave. So I will say first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave on my yearly chart, okay? And then I will put this one here and say this is, uh, in fact, you can see the fifth wave went all the way up here. All right, so I leave it like this. So I say, okay, first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave. But you can see that the price went down to this level here. In fact, has canceled the third wave. What kind of third wave? The third wave should never be canceled. Okay, and when a wave is canceled, we must restart counting the wave. So on a yearly chart, I can put something like this, and it's some type of trader that post concept comment on our video, video before we may say this is rubbish, but it's my own rubbish do your own rabbit in fact this trader did not put one single video on his youtube channel so he should learn to put the video on his own youtube channel first before okay writing nonsense on somebody else's uh, channel all right okay now let's move on so now we see now okay so this is what i see on the yearly chart i don't want to lie about it i don't want to fool myself by the way you know what you can do when you are sending the chart to us 
you can perfectly remove all your indicators, okay, all your, your any indicator you have on your chart, okay, on the chart or below the chart, just remove all of them, and uh, do it like I'm doing here, okay, just so we can see all your drawing, and also you can, so we can see beautiful, gorgeous, okay, chart only, okay, that's when I'm doing the, the waves, I prefer not to have any indicator on the chart at all, though we use indicator, when I'm counting the wave, it's better to see the chart. You don't want anything to block your view. If you are, sometimes, you can see now, I'll show you something now. Let, let's do this now, okay? You see? The same chart, we can make it big, we can make it very small, okay? So sometimes, the way you are seeing the chart can affect your judgment. So you want to make sure nothing, okay, is uh, distorting, okay, uh, the actual image that you are looking at, okay, very important. That's why I remove everything so I can see what is happening, okay, clearly. All right, <laughs> okay. So now that's what we see on the yearly chart. Let's move on. Uh, I will. You did not look on the quarterly chart, okay. I will look at it, okay. Let's go to the quarterly chart. The reason why we're doing that is because sometimes you will miss something. Okay, you can see now on the yearly chart, I put my uh, fourth wave here. You can see that on the, the quarterly chart is revealing to me that, okay, in fact, George, you were right the first time, okay, all right, to bring it completely down. In fact, what has happened here, bear with me, if you are as early away expert, we are just counting the wave, don't get too <laughs> angry with me because... I'm just going step by step. You will see everything if you watch the full length of the video. Okay, so don't don't get into a conclusion very fast. Okay, so then the price went down to this level. So it's telling me straight away that George, something is wrong with my count. Okay, all right, something is wrong with my count because I'm saying this is the first wave, second wave, and the third wave all the way up here, and I'm saying this is the fourth wave, and the fourth wave has cancelled the third wave. It doesn't make any sense to me. I will know straight away something is not right here all right so when you are counting the wave okay do not be afraid to to just go with the chart because it's the purest technical analysis we want we are dealing with the price itself okay and we don't want anything okay to fool us so all right so now i see clearly that something doesn't okay stand here okay something does not stand here all right okay what has happened one thing I'll say at this point in time is that whenever we are counting the wave on any stock or any other financial instrument, you will pay attention to the S&P 500, okay? It's the market. You want to know the market cycle. And if you do that, you are likely, okay, to, to do some excellent wave count. What I'm going to do now, okay? So we are going step by step. So we haven't finished yet. So don't jump into conclusion. So stay with us all right so i'm going to draw okay a green line there a vertical line you can see here where we have this kind of uh, trouble because uh, this support that's why we that this uh, pretend to be fourth wave okay has counsel what i've tried to call the third wave here it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense what i'm going to do now okay if you like, I can tell you what has happened. In fact, my wave count on the yearly chart was not correct, okay? It was not correct. And I will, I will tell you why in a minute, okay? We will look at the S&P 500 chart. The first wave is correct, okay? Moment, please, we'll get them. So the first wave is correct, okay? And the, the second wave has been divided into five small waves for the gentleman who was talking about the uh, area wave nonsense for, for this particular gentleman. He has to learn about the A, B, C, D, E. The chart pattern is a five wave. Each wave be divided into three waves. It's not only during the impulsive time that we have five waves. These five waves are overlapping, okay? Breaking one okay essential area wave because during the impulsive move the five waves should not overlap but because this is a corrective way you can see that they are overlapping okay one two three four five okay and right here the market is considered as oversold area wave trader will look for opportunity to buy here 
All right. So that's it. All right. So 15 wave, five wave, but it's correct wave. If you had ever heard about it, go and learn on the Google. Check for area wave A B C D, a chart pattern, and stop making okay crazy comment about something that you do not know at all. All right. Let's move on. Okay. Okay. So in fact, what has happened? You can see that I'm correcting my drawing on this chart. Okay. All right. I need to bring some color here. Okay. Color my uh, okay orange. Is a orange visible on your chart? Okay. I think you can see it. Okay. Orange here. That's the third wave. And I'm going to okay bring some pink here it's not visible pink so i'll change it then um turquoise okay it's not very clear okay all right and i will call uh, the, uh, the the fifth wave into red all right you see where it is the vertical line so in fact we have the first wave the second wave has been divided into a b c d e five wave corrective five waves all right and then we have the third wave which was the longest up to this level and then the fourth wave and the fifth wave pay attention to the year this is beginning of 2008 you see the green line here all right this is a correction to the downside in fact in this session we had what we call a flat correction the price just went down big time total retracement you will see that so we had one area wave cycle being completed at this point, if you like. You see now? So from the yearly chart, what I can see, I draw my line. From the quarterly chart, I notice straight away that something is not right because the third area wave cannot be canceled. It doesn't make any sense. So uh, I notice straight away that this is not the fourth wave. In fact, it's the correct wave. You see? So now, but when we are counting where we can use comparison, and also the trading triangle to know where was the market itself talking about the market cycle itself and I'm talking about caterpillar which is also a very important okay a stock okay so we want to align everything carefully and if we are making a mistake we will know straight away we know that in 2008 there was a bearish cycle for the whole market in fact the s p 500 hit the top was overbought right here so it's true that this is the end of the fifth wave for this uh, stock it's supposed to go a bit higher but was stopped here at the end of the fifth wave and there was a the, this is this is just a, a flat correction it just went down fast so we can say instead of having an orderly a b c down a b c correctly move down it was just a pure sharp move to the down you see down 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 cancel the third wave completely here all right then a new cycle has begun again so we can say though this is a correction in this session we can say that if for instance we stick to our original third wave say that is from here to here which it wasn't we will have said that our third wave has been cancelled all right but it wasn't we had five waves okay and then we will say this is the new third wave all right okay all right you see now let's bring on now the s p 500 okay sps i want to draw again on this uh, chart okay because whenever we are trading stocks or any other financial instrument we want to apply the trading triangle we want to know where is the market okay what's going on with the market all right if you fail to do that, I mean, ask the hedge fund managers, they will tell you, okay? So now, this was an overbought zone, all right? Because the, the bullish momentum has stalled at this point. It's all about sentiment. When we are talking about overbought condition, we are talking about a fair value and also market sentiment. All right. Either the, the stock is uh, well above its fair value, or the, 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 the market sentiment has changed. 
the market the price can be well above its fair value but one must wait for the sentiment to change first before entering the trade here the stock was well above its fair value but the sentiment has changed here it was overbought the market condition here okay and the price went down in 2008 end of 2007 beginning of 2008 we were again at the same overbought zone the small money okay does not forget okay they knew that this was an overbought zone as the price was approaching that level a lot of crazy traders that were buying anyhow without using the trading triangle they lost a lot of money even some heads from went out of business because of this little mistake because they were buying ordinary stock because they were bullish without paying attention to the market cycle itself so we knew that's where we were for the caterpillar as you can see that's the year where the fifth wave has ended the market was in overbought zone as it's approaching now again the same thing we are telling people all right so <laughs> were in the overbought zone the s&p 500 was in the overbought zone and caterpillar okay epic c a t okay charlie alpha tango was right here at the end of the fifth wave the smart traders who were applying the trading triangle together with the wave count knew that if the s&p start rolling it down they must sell also caterpillar all right and there was this move down okay normally it should be another the abc down all right now we have a new cycle has begun here again after a correction a new cycle has begun for this uh, stock a move up okay we see again it's a kind of correction why we are having this here now because as i show you now on the okay On the chart of the S&P 500, the S&P 500 is approaching again the overbought zone. The smart money starts coming out again. That's why, you see, this is happening here again now. All right? But some trader may count the way I say, one, okay, second wave has been divided into five waves. And if they made a mistake, because you have different players in the market, okay? So they may say this from here to here, they may say this is the third wave. All right? If they say this is the third wave, it's wrong because the market... The whole market has changed cycle at this point in time. So was the caterpillar. It's a correction. These traders, if they stick to their account, they will say this is a cancellation of the third wave. So they will replace it with this one saying that this is now the third wave. So in that case, for those traders, they will say that, okay, this is now, okay, because the third wave in their view, remember, in their view, the third wave has been cancelled. They will count this as the new third wave and count this as the fourth wave and the fifth wave. And they will say this is the end of the fifth wave. And they will be expecting another correction to the downside. Okay, that's not too bad because you have to, whenever you are trading important stock like this, you know that this is a small money trading caterpillar. It's not ordinary traders that are playing here. So if you are trading in caterpillar, you have to know that you are dealing with the professional here. Okay? So if you are making mistakes, they will, they will flag you straight away. So, again, the market, the S&P 500, is a portion of a board zone. Okay? So it's not a bad decision to say that this is the fifth wave right here. But in my view, the fifth wave has ended here. Correction. A new cycle has begun. The market is again at the overbought zone. Okay, we must watch it. Okay, this move from here to here can be divided on another time frame into five waves. Okay, so now let's go now from the quarterly chart. We go now to the weekly for to the monthly chart. So because what I've said on the month on the quarterly chart is what I'm looking at because we are looking at the chart. So my analysis is based on what I'm looking at. That's why I keep my eyes wide open, okay, and I follow the price. So this monthly chart is not telling me something different than what I've seen on the, okay, quarterly chart. I'll move on now to the, okay, so you see now, all right, but we're we coming out to this, you, you following me, so this leg here, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to this. You, we just go step by step. 
let's go now to the weekly chart as i speak to you the move on the monthly chart that went straight can be divided into okay a five waves so here we can see that the correction was down up to this level here prior to display lower lows and lower high language of the price yielding okay low lower low lower low here he failed to display a new lower low this is telling us that the bearish momentum is weakening right here we'll wait for the nut to be broken all right it's an inverted high neck showdown all right tstw 24 traders okay you know it so now okay so you see now so higher low here telling us that the bearish momentum is weakening all right so the first higher low after this okay we will be part of it in fact the first wave is this one to here okay moment please as I'm doing it now, okay, I know that a lot of traders, okay, are trying to do exactly that, okay, and uh, that's the best way forward, just go step by step, okay, if you made a mistake, you'll know because, it's n because the what I've noticed that some traders, like uh, this gentleman who posted this comment about uh, our video on YouTube today, but... Uh, wave uh, nonsense these are type of traders that go around they learn a lot about earlier wave and they get the, their ego quite high i know about earlier wave i know earlier wave better than anyone don't get into this just be humble all right ask the hedge fund manager they will tell you the the, the more experience you become you become more calm okay you 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 are more relaxed okay but if you get into why you say i know it better than everyone you are asking for it okay as we say in london you are asking for it okay and uh, i don't i don't i don't support that okay i don't support that okay i don't support that all right all right so what i'm going to do now i'm going to call on my uh new waves because a wave on another time frame talking about a fractal pattern can be divided into another okay higher degree lower degree can be divided into five wave on another time frame okay so i'm going to color them in a different color so everybody okay can see them even the person who put a crazy coverage <laughs> okay so i will leave uh this one it's again five ways okay so the gentleman for the gentleman probably watch this one two three four five okay that's a five wave, but it's a correct way because they're overlapping. In normal condition, this is why we say A, B, C, D, E. All right? W, W, dot, two, four, in your wave, okay? Before it is too late, okay? I worry for that trader. That's why I'm saying this. Because if you carry on like this, you can make a lot of crazy mistakes in this market. And uh, we see all the time, uh, I mean, you see even in the paper, trader will, will waste a lot of money for their bank. It's the ego. When you get into this ego, if you don't want to, <laughs> you make a wrong decision. Just follow the pie and be humble okay be just humble you don't have to prove anything to anybody it's to yourself that's why i say this is my own wave count and when a trader send me a, v, uh, a chart count i leave it alone and i ask it to trade out okay that's what i see okay any trader will develop their own trading style that's the best way forward so now let's move on ladies and gentlemen so here i want to color them in a different color so we can see them uh, when we switch them frame right here okay color it in brown is okay all right it's, it's. i like this background some trader don't like it but i like it myself that's why i keep it okay so my apology for this if you don't like my background my apology for it okay but i like it myself i want to keep it okay i may change it in the future but i like it all right so my apology for that so now you see so there was a down move, as I said to trader, we're looking on our left hand side when we are counting the way, this is the guideline, we're looking on the left hand side, there was a down move, we, we know now, we know that it was not a fourth wave, it was a correction, in fact corresponding to 2008, the whole market went down big time, it's a correction to the downside, okay, big time here, okay, so now we have a, a new cycle has begun here, we from the first higher low, not from here, but from here, sometimes they may say to me, Joe, it started from here, all I will say is, say, all right, okay? I don't say anything there. I just say, all right, okay? That's what I say. 
okay because all right it's your account so from here that's my first wave okay my second wave has been divided into five waves okay and the third wave the longest the fourth and the fifth now we have yes you you were right to, to you were perfectly right to to point it down for abc here you were perfectly right because what we are dealing with right now as i'm going to show you now is in fact a flat correction taking place here a bit messy some trader may disagree but it's my account okay <laughs> it's my account all right so now let's move on so so we know one two three four five wave abc ABC one two three four five down. That's a flat correction. So the first one two three four five. That's these are impulsive wave. They are not overlapping. Okay, and then we see ABC, which is a ABC ABC, which is a double retracement. Okay, double retracement. Price come down. Price go back. It's a double retracement. Okay, so right here another A. Okay. If you like, I can color the, 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 the ABC differently for you. Uh, you see? For traders that are willing to learn, or traders that are working hard, okay? Because myself, I work like a donkey, so to speak, in the past, uh, okay? Before I even get my head out, if I never put any crazy comment on any a video. I see a lot of video on YouTube. I'm grateful that traders spend their time and, and I try to okay help other traders, but I mean, if you're going to make any comments, all right, and make a I mean a, a constructive comment. That's the way I see it. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's move on, ladies and gentlemen. It's just for fun. Let's talk. We talk about it enough. Okay. If you are getting fed up with me, okay, do not worry. I'm not going to talk about it the whole the whole day. All right. The time in London now is 21 minutes past. Uh, That's 11, okay. Okay, let's do it fast. Okay, we get in there. I want to call up my double ABC into green so you can see clearly on your chart. And also, I will uh, zoom into the chart. So, one of the things I want to change here is telling me it's already green, but it's not already green. Yes, it's this one. That's it, correct. Okay, now what I'm going to do. All right, you see now. Okay, so our fifth wave, which our counter has ended here, what I'll do. Put it here, like this. that's the end of the fifth wave. And then we have A, B, C, A, B, C. Okay, in normal, this is a flat correction. The flat correction is A, B, C, A, B, C, and five wave down. That five wave down, Again, to my friend that made the comment, it's also a correction. Even though it's a five wave, A, B, C, A, B, C, five wave down, that five wave down is a correction. So, I mean, go and learn a WW2 for your wave instead of making a crazy comment on video of that you do not understand anything about. In fact, the video was about fractal pattern, and you make a crazy comment about it and mark the video down. Doesn't make any sense. All right? Stop that nonsense, okay? All right, now, the video now we have here, so we have ABC, ABC, all right. So now we will scout, we expect it, okay. It's not that it's going to happen by all means, okay. Very often, okay, we, it, the price is likely to give us five waves down, five waves that are overlapping. These are not impulsive five waves, these are corrective five waves, and you will see it, and it will overlap okay blah come do something like this and okay and it will bring it down okay that, that's what usually take place so you see five waves down a b c a b c double retracement and then we have one two three four five waves down it doesn't mean that a price you see now we are just talking about probability okay and sometimes trader will go and place a trend without a signal at all or without even paying attention to the S&P 500 and without even paying attention to what's happened to this stock, Caterpillar, did you check the fundamental? By the way, Yini, I'm very impressed by your research, what you have done about uh, what Caterpillar, okay, great job, all right, so, so this is it, so, 
we, you don't just go and sell a stock because the normal progression of the market is up. Also, this year is election year in the United States. What I've said to traders, the market will find it very difficult to go down before the election. <laughs> All right, but that's another politics. Most of the smart traders, because they know now that the SP 500 has reached okay a, an overbought zone, most of them are cautious. Okay, all right. So this was going on. So perfectly, you know, you were right to to say you were expecting A, B, C now, but is you have you were right that a correction is likely to take place here. All right. So you see now. So these waves that have come here, five here in this session, okay, is in fact okay they move this move okay on a monthly chart this move okay you see now this move up here okay on the monthly chart but do not assume that the price will definitely go down okay one must take a valid signal okay so i think uh, this clarifies uh, okay the wave counts and uh, just keep doing as you are doing okay just the first thing that one must do if you want to okay excel in anything you must like it so i noticed that a lot of traders that like area wave are likely to excel because you must like it first okay if you like it then you start practicing which is mean you start drawing line remove all indicators when you are drawing the line and as i show you now okay just go okay from the yearly chart quarterly chart and if you miss some information it will come it will become clearer to you and also do not forget the s p 500 which is the market itself okay the market cycle will command every other cycle all right and a trading triangle we want to use it by only okay let's play big uh, let's go now to the daily chart the crowded daily chart you can see here my uh ab double abc and now uh, it's all blah 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 here okay the small money is keep eyes on this but as a stock very often some okay company employ technical traders i know that especially i think uh, apple may be doing that and uh, very often when you know that their stock is going to go down they will come with excellent product or excellent use okay to support their stock is perfectly normal okay human being are fighting for survival all right so the stock also are doing the same that's why sometimes if a stock is about to go down sometimes you'll see it has to go up first okay which means there's a small button first and then before everything will come down same thing if it's going to go up the, 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 the smart trader want to buy at the lowest best price so price might go down first okay before going up okay all right for today so I think I've answered all your questions, uh, blah, 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 okay? If you don't like the fact that I was spending too much time on the, the comment made on one of our video, okay, I accept my apology, but I mean, many TST traders are my, are my, my friends, so I can talk like this, okay, to, okay, my own friends, okay? So let's go now back again to the, uh, the pound, okay? A dollar currency pair that will be a excellent point for this gentleman i wish this gentleman very well so he may learn something about it and improve his trading but the point i want to mention here is that in trading do not let ego or any proud stand on your way because the market okay is the leader you don't want to do that we were talking about fractal pattern to them and before i posted the video i was telling traders clearly on the hourly chart that we have a consolidation pattern then i was saying to traders that there was a, a bearish move here down it's clearly bearish the bear were dominating the market and then we have a consolidation though the price is oscillating at this okay between these two levels okay i would prefer to sell at the top here look this candle somebody as the price was approaching the base all these were already filled place here you have to understand that London was open, New York, New York has just opened, new traders came into the market, they all they were too much, they pry around fast. I don't want to know whether there was some other news. I don't want to talk about that. All I'm saying to you, there was a market pattern in place, which was a consolidation. The prior went above, the bear were looking for opportunity to sell here. All right. So, though the prior went up like this, they challenged it again. Look. Price came down, we draw this arrow here to see it change direction. Though it came down to retest it, it didn't go back up. In fact, you look where we are again, same place. 
All right, as I speak it to you now, they bring it this talk and there was a distortion, pure distortion. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> they, just, they just bring it back now. So they are now again at the base of this. We will see what's going to happen. But as I speak to you, because of the previous move here, all right, the bear are dominating. I prefer to be on a dominant part of the market, which means I'm not going to play it up here like these people did here. I will wait instead on the top here and uh, to bring it to this level. All right, there are more to this. I don't want to talk about it. It's A, B, C, D, E, all to do with either way. And uh, I mean, uh, Yeni, I think I've answered your question. Of course, if you have uh, okay more something else, okay, you can always contact us directly. All right. And uh, by the way, I need to inform traders that uh, from uh, the tenth of October, okay, up to the end of October, we're going to be a bit uh, very very busy. I need to tell traders if we're going to be away, okay, doing other things for that time. So remember the tenth to the end of October. You may send us a, probably, you may contact us during that time, but you may notice that it will take longer before you may receive a reply. So be aware of the 10th to the end of October. That's why I say to the TSTWSYS008 traders that uh, you will receive your 24 SP13 stochastic pattern at the end of October because of our program for October. Okay? Until the next time, a happy October back to you all. Speak to you soon. We are the TSTWSYS0 zero, zero eight uh, traders.